Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 269, halfway through October. And I was looking around my office trying to find where the camera was, which is off because I don't do a camera on this stream. That's only for the deployment dojo. Uh, but this is recorded for those of you that are with us tonight here right now, or that are not with us right here right now. You know who you are. Great to have all of you in chat. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're talking about today. Uh, if you're here, say hi. Uh, Jacob, Ron, uh, Zach, great to have you guys here. Uh, we're just gonna do some triage and then we'll take questions, comments from chat, things that people want to talk about that are going on. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. I have no idea how long this meeting will take because I didn't spend a lot of time looking at the issues ahead of time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the issues. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right, we're rolling straight into this. All right. Uh, 7605, uh, whip for the default major upgrade behavior and localized error messages, which we have been using as a placeholder for all this other experimentation around the virtual symbols, what have become known as virtual symbols, and, uh, uh, the standard lib. Um, but we're not actually talking about this issue itself. Do we need to keep this issue open, Bob? Well, so I, I guess part of... So I think some things are still unresolved here. Um, you know, with the idea of the standard library, um, basically the, the major upgrade symbol would live in that rather than what I did in the pull request, which is to, you know, generate the, the symbol in code. Um, so the, the standard library is, is an interesting aspect, but, you know, pretty minor in the overall scheme of the feature. Um, but some of the other, you know, consideration bullets are, are interesting, um, primarily because we're introducing this idea of always getting a major upgrade. Um, and that's a little, uh, unusual. Um, we don't, you know, Wix doesn't usually force anything on you. You have you you opt into things, and of course, opt in is the complication that we're trying to avoid here. Um, so I think the first bullet is the most interesting thing. Um, do we need a way to prevent the default major upgrade feature from kicking in? Yes. Well, okay, that was easy. Because we're going to hit some case where we don't want it or we don't want whatever it brings and want the very, very bespoke upgrade table and don't want this one in the way of it all. Um, oh, I guess well, this does say when there's no upgrade happen. symbols. Yeah. Right, so right, right. that wouldn't happen. That case would not happen. Right. But again, today you can omit, you can have, well, so it's, it's this weird case, right? You have an upgrade code, but do not have any of the the you know upgrade symbols. However, you acquired them today. If you well, it, as written in the PR, if you do not have an upgrade code, you will not get this behavior. So, it, but it's this really weird case of sure, I will specify an upgrade code, but I don't want a major upgrade. Now, one way of doing this is actually just to piggyback on the, the no standard lib switch. If there is no standard lib, it won't come in. No. Does, does no, the standard okay. lib have a section that always gets included kind of thing? No, 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 no. no. It, the way to do this, to implement this, would be to add a reference to that default upgrade yep. simple set. Um, and yes, as that exactly. comes out, there is a, you know, there, there's benefit to having an upgrade code, even if you don't have major upgrade. You should always I mean, have an upgrade code. Always, 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 because you never know if you need it later. You can't add it later. So you always have, should have one. No. Well, yeah. I, yeah. That's, I suppose, fair. And there's nothing bad happens by ha nothing happens by having one, but it allows everything in the future. Like, <laughs> except with this feature. If you well, specify so, an upgrade code, then you get the default 
major upgrade. Okay. I still think the way to solve this is to have a upgrade strategy attribute on the package that defaults well, sure. to major and then supports the minor upgrade thing. Yes. And in the magical world where that feature exists, I no, because in the magical world where that feature exists, you still would have to specify something. It, it doesn't solve, I mean, it could, but that feature doesn't exist. So if we want to be able to emit the major upgrade behavior, then we just have to decide how we want to specify that. Is that something you author or is it, you know, rare enough that we can, you know, relegate it to a switch? I don't want a command line switch to do it. I'm fine with that because it's rare and I don't want to stuff this into the compiler. All right. I understand. I, I, I got sidetracked with this with the whole default. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, or virtual I, symbol I, thing. So now I need to yeah. think about the, the bullet point that you raised here, which is the next most important bullet point, which is the, can you turn this thing off? And every, I, I can't, it feels like every time we're like, ah, why would you ever want to turn that off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We show up within two years and go, oh, I wish we could turn it off. Well, to be clear, I, I'm, I'm, I'm also in favor of, you know, not having a, uh, um, not having, oh God, what do you, it, it's a, it's a purity thing. It's like Wix should allow you to do, you know, everything and it shouldn't force you into weird stuff. That was, you know, one of the yeah. defining characteristics of Wix back in you know, 2004. Which is what leads us to this verbo verbosity of having to specify everything because you get full control of everything, yeah. but we don't do anything for you. And we're, we're working our way to the happy medium between those two things um, is what we're trying to find. Yeah. Um, so, and the other bullets under consideration considerations are also still, you know, interesting. Um, with the standard lib, right, we can have multiple Wixel files. I don't think we would because we don't have translations, but it is, you know, possible in the future. Um, and so, I, you know, is this a problem when we look at the default MS build behavior when you have, you know, multiple Wixels? Mm -hmm. If we supported multiple Wixels, then we would have, then we we would end up in a situation where we're choosing the default culture in the core tool set or we're forcing someone to pick a culture. Right. Or we're treating zero as right <laughs> English or whatever, because that's what we would yeah. And I, I, I know you always have a reaction to that, which I don't have an issue with, but <laughs> well, I also don't have another it, language to pick instead. Um, but yeah. Well, and that's where you can, you know, Yes, the default is ENUS. Sorry, um, but you can always specify another. Except, can you? I, I, you know. Yes. Well, we have to. You the... have to be able to specify another, and that's why my expectation is the standard lib makes this just work because it'll just be the Wixels inside standard lib, and you can override them to say, "Well, you override the Wixels from the UI, and it yep. should just all work." And if you specify a language we don't have then you have to provide it and it should all just kind of fall together the same way that, which is why I like the idea of standard lib as soon as I saw this. So yeah, it, it, that to me is like the solution. And then hopefully maybe people contribute languages, translations for all of the languages into the standard lib. And then the standard lib covers more and more and more languages of the world. Yeah. Uh, which would be very cool. So yeah. All right, I, I'm less worried about the language stuff because I think the standard lib solves them with the standard. It's with the typical standard, with the typical behavior of a library. I was going to say the standard behavior of a library, but that got confusing. Um, the hard part, the one changes the how to turn it off. So. Well, again, I'm fine with a the switch there. I, you know, that's. 
All right, I will. I okay. This is what we need. All right, I want one more week to think about. Two more weeks. I get one more meeting okay. <laughs> to think about this. I understand now. I got all tied up with this. Got all excited about this part. Been yeah, spent yeah, all the brain cycles down on these things, and have not thought about this, which of course the standard library does not help with. It creates the problem. <laughs> it's like here, here's your definition every time. Yep. So all right, cool. All right, that is the flag on that one. And it's even assigned to me, yay. Okay, uh, directory table primary key conflict. This is not right. This should not be good, sorry. Number number 7767, seven, seven, directory table primary key conflict. Two subdirectories doing things are creating a error between these two. So that's not supposed to do that. That is supposed to work. You can give this to me. Go figure out what test case is not covering this one, because there should be one, and solve that problem. All right. That's frustrating. That should not be a problem. 7778 Wix bundles from V3 and V4 do not see the package dependencies from each other. Bob saw this one coming a week ago or two or something. Yeah. It's for the back. There's been some discussion. Um, this, this is due to a change in Wix 4 um, that was in response to a bug fix. Uh, um, it's 6535 if you're interested. Can you tag that here? Um, yeah. I, I won't be able to do it. Um, yep. 6535. Six five three five six five three five. Minor upgrade packages independently the base product. Burn currently takes a minor upgrade as present, even if it was even if it isn't installed, which leads to unexpected behavior. Oh, so by adding the version, oh, because the package code is the or the product code is the same for minor upgrades, it detects it even though it's not. So by adding the version, it now will detect them different because the version will change for the minor upgrade. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So that makes sense and that makes sense and we have a problem. Yeah. You so, can you know, manually specify your dependency key though, right? Yeah, you can always manu manually specify the, the dependency key and you know we have bind time variables to let you get the product code. So uh, I think if you it. need that feature between you know, V3 bundles and V4 bundles, then you can hard code the dependency key to the product code and lose the, the, the fix. Yep, uh, this turns into probably a doc book then, right? Should add it to the three to four list as a, hey, by the way, you have to do this if you do this kind of thing. Uh, or we, or we reevaluate the the change in six five three five. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is the right change. It's not necessarily the only rights change. How would you? I don't don't ask. That's not fair. I found the bug. That that's as far as I got. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I don't have a better. I don't have a better change. Um, but I, I know I haven't spent any time thinking of it. Am I going to come up with one? I, you know, it's entirely possible, maybe even probable that I would not. Yeah, it's um, just this matches what the package cache is doing. Sure, sure. So that's why I'm like, yeah, that's the 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 dependency key always should have matched the package cache. That makes like that logically makes sense. So, yeah. 
Mm. Ish? I mean... You know, it... I, I don't know. It, it seems when it comes to, to ref counting that that is more precise than required. It, it, it does seem that, you know, a version of a product should satisfy You know, for for ref counting purposes, any version should satisfy that condition. I think. I don't know. I'm I'm comfortable treating it as something to be documented, but I I, I don't I don't know how long it lasts I, as a. As, I mean, this is essentially, essentially we want to document a workaround. Maybe that's the right thing. Um, it's also entirely possible that, you know, changing it now, you know, for Wix 5 um, would be, you know, even more disruptive. I don't know. Yeah, I, we'd have to go change it in 4. Well, no, we can't change it in 4 because it would be a you know, significant behavior change in 4. The fact that it's a behavior change from three to four is, you know, acceptable. Better okay. if it's documented. I, I'm just saying it's a. This is a bad bug between three and four, so we reverted the four behavior to the three behavior to resolve it. And and all of you should pick up the latest four as opposed to the. Well, I, I mean, no, I'm, I'm not calling it a bug. What I'm so what I'm calling a bug is that if the workaround means you lose the benefit of the bug fix and that would happen. Is there a solution that, you know, does not require losing the benefit of the bug fix? I see. And I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I, I yeah, I don't see it. So it makes sense how this happened. Yeah, it, it's just This is pretty painful, though, isn't it? It's very painful, which is, you know, kind of why I like to... three ends up destroying four, or the the first bundle ends up destroying everything that four put on the machine? Yeah, not everything, but anything that's been minor upgraded. Oh, no, no, I think you're right. No, it's everything. Well, for shared... Yeah, for shared packages. Like anything you upgrade. Well. But wait, it has the good of the MSI in it. Product I mean, code. You're, the product code. Sorry, I, I'm using their terms. So it has a product code in it. So if you're doing major upgrades, it you're fine because the product code changes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what this is minor upgrades. I see. This is minor upgrades across versions of Wix. Got it. Got it. Yep. Yep. Uh. Sure. I'm gonna burn my brain cycles on the upgrade thing, on the previous <laughs> upgrade issue. <laughs> I'm more than happy for you to burn some brain cycles on this one if you want to give it. I don't uh, I will, think yeah. going back is the right. I think I, where I, we're I, at I, now I, is correct. I, but I'd be happy I, to be told, yeah, educated I, I, wrong, that I'm wrong. I, I dislike that statement so much that I will spend some time on it. I, I, I respect that. 
<laughs> I respect that. Um, mm. Yep. The the big thing for me is I, I might consider again. I don't want to lose the the benefit of the bug fix, right? But at the same time, it's like minor upgrades are a thing. So yeah, I would I would hate if we lose because the minor upgrade stuff is in, is part of it's that that was the bug that was fixed. So I'm like, uh, it's it's really frustrating. I will take a look. Um, I you know I'm not going to burn much of my brain on it because I it's a big problem if if a four to four upgrade with minor upgrades involved is successful then you know I might consider that good enough if we can get from that you know the three to four hump and then four to four works in ongoing cycles, that might be good enough, or it might be as good as we can get. Okay. Otherwise, I'll turn it into a doc bug. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunate, but yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, that was fun. Uh, seven seven eight one. Dot net compiler check cannot be used to check for dot net for yeah, net eight release releases. Candidate. Release candidate. So I think. <laughs> I hope their tool doesn't have to be updated for every major version. No, I don't. I don't think so. Okay. I think this is Semver. Oh. A a .dot net eight release candidate is less than .dot net eight. Yes. So you cannot say look for .dot net eight. Oh, you think they used it and one. have a release. Well, quote unquote wrong. I, I this is a guess on my part. Do they show their uh, no, they attached it. And in the okay. sample it is looking for eight dot zero dot zero. Well yeah, you're not gonna find the RCs with that. Okay. I wouldn't expect it, you to. Because that's well, not available yet. I look forward to it being available, but it's not available yet. Well it it, it Again, I'm, this is my assumption. You seem to be agreeing with me. Oh, I, eight, I, eight, as, soon zero, Sembra, as soon as you said Sember, as soon as you said Sember, and you said that they're eight point zero, I'm like, yeah, that that's a typical mistake. Okay, all right. That that's well, a very typical. It's like, yeah, so you're not searching for the pre-releases. Okay, so you're this searching. would be like, like they should try use... with the RCs. Like, however you specify the RCs, this thing. Right, right. So they should try, you know, eight dot zero dot zero dash RC one or whatever. However they the dot yes. team labeled it. Okay. How, how, however, you're supposed to. Again, this tool is not ours. So, however, you feed the right version number into it to get the answer. But yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And you know, it could be that we've hidden the the ability to like pass in strings like that. I don't know. Like I've this is one area I've not touched at all. But what you described makes perfect sense to me. They said 800. They're looking for release versions only. Pre-releases would not show up normally in that query. So, which kind of makes sense that they're like, hey, I have 799, roll forward to the latest version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back a version and search for anything newer. There you go. It's a matter of feeding this tool the right answer. So, it's not, in the end, I don't think it's us much anyway i agree so yeah but we ship it contained in here we cover the entire operating system therefore it's always our fault to start with yes the triage so anyway i think that's probably the thing for them to check uh seven seven eight three wix v4 module ids restricted by windows restricted file names this is sad give it to me this never should have been done Basically, this comes down to a thing that I seem to have to relearn every five to eight years. Do not use user input as, or do not use user input that is not targeted to file system as file system data, because they will always pick something that's not a valid file system identifier. COM1 is not a valid file system identifier, and somewhere it's using, it's going to be simple. It's going to be like prefix the stupid directory with mm or something like that anyway fortunately there's a workaround in wix4 just use a different id and everything will work fine but in wix5 i'll make it not be dumb 
I don't know. I think everyone should, you know, have at least one time when they try to copy a file to LPT. <laughs> uh, done it. But that was that was back in the uh, early 2000s. I don't think it was 99, but it was really close. All right. 7784 Wix uh, certificate X86 fails with X64 build arch. Mm, is this the... Yeah, 64-bit should only have 64-bit custom actions. That's right. The Wix build should probably fail in this case. They referenced it. Did did it not fail or did it fail to install? Failed to install. Well, that's it built. Why did it build? Oh, it pulled in the XA6 stuff? Because it uh, keeps uh, scrolling. There's nothing more. It just says. No. It looks the custom. This? Custom element. Nope. One up. One comment up. Keep. Yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Oh, what are they? There. After. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, yeah. This just comes down to we need to solve it so you can refer to the actions and the architecture automatically gets fixed. We're a ways yeah. away from that, but that is, that's, yeah, it, it's just, the world's not going to be great until we just resolve that. We're going to keep hitting these things. So the Wix build should probably fail in this case. So they're getting the XA6 custom action in their MSI. Yeah, because they reference it. Because they and directly they're reference getting it. the X64 custom action because yeah, of their right. offer. Just can, can you do me a favor and tie this to that, that Uber bug that we have flown around there with the X64 or architecture? Solve architecture problems. Solve all architecture problems. Because just as one more example that we should go, wait, what? Oh, yeah, this thing. We need to handle this case, too. Just magically figure out the right thing. By the way, we don't have design for this problem, so I don't know what the solution is. And this, and the reason I want to link this to that issue is because this is actually one of the harder cases to try to solve. You want to be able to refer to something that is architecture specific by its generic name and then have the architecture specific stuff tacked on at the end. Nothing works that way right now. But yeah, yeah, because it wasn't a thing until Wix four. Because uh, we didn't have multi architecture, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. So uh, we did some, but not big. And then what would happen? The goal would be that this this identifier would fail because it's not a real one. You have to give it by a neutral or language or uh, architecture neutral ID, so that you can never specify the architecture specific one. Unless there are cases where we have to. I don't know. Anyway, it would be great if we could tie this to that and then just go, yep, this needs to be solved by that thing over there. It's not a dupe of that issue. It's just one more permutation yeah. of that issue. 7785, Wix 4, ignoring warning level property. Warning level property? That's a Rosalind thing. Oh, is it? I I think. I, I've, never, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I, I, I've never heard of this before. But it's, yeah, it's, I don't know if it's Rosalind, Rosalind, but. All right, we can put it up for grabs. Someone wants to go, if someone wants to go investigate how this all works inside the rest of the world and have Wix behave the same way as C-sharp projects. Uh, yeah, but it, it can't. Warning levels in C-sharp are like zero to five. I mean, okay, zero could work. Zero could be turned into suppress all warnings, right? Sure. But yeah, like I had something, one. someone will have to go figure it out and come back with a design for it. So it, not high priority for me. I've never heard of it, so definitely not high priority for me. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. But if it's a thing, then yeah, sure. Yeah. Handle it. If it's a solution wide thing. Someone could well, I guess design there, for it. There, there are all the properties that you can specify in a Wix proj. There, there's no, there's no way to access them from a .NET build command. You could set, I, yeah, you could set the properties, whatever it's called, suppress all warnings, whatever that property is called, you should oh. set it from the command line. Okay, well then, I don't want to do this. I, I only want to do it to be consistent with the rest of the system, right? Such that people expect this. If this is a thing, then yeah, we can support it. I mean, someone could do, I don't, if warning level, you know, zero is a thing across all projects, 
then well, you could do that. First of all, no one should be suppressing warnings. Sure. Especially, well, no one should be suppressing all warnings. Sure. That's just inviting trouble. Yeah, there is. Yeah, that's probably probably I've never heard of it because I've never thought about doing it this way. Right. Sorry. I I guess maybe does it work as C plus plus projects? Mm. Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't work there, then it's a CS project thing, and I then I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Wix doesn't do that. Wix for ignoring warning level. No, it's not a Wix thing. It's a CS project thing. I don't. Know. I I've not messed with it. Up for grabs for anybody that wants to go run it down and try to decide, yeah, Wix should support this thing the same as all these other projects. Or could run it down and go, Wix should not support it because the only thing that supports it is CS Proj. And when only one project system supports it, I don't know. We can decide whether we should support the same thing as CS Proj. I don't really care that much. Well, my, my primary concern is that Wix doesn't have warning levels. So the only value that makes sense is zero. Oh, I see. Yeah. As an alias for suppress all warnings. Right. Yeah, that's probably true too. Yeah. It's yeah. Lots of things to design for that thing to happen. Um I don't know. They can go for a grab someone wants to go figure out all the patterns to do there. Okay. We're at the end of open issues. Going back. Okay, we've done all that stuff. Other things going on. Stuff people want to talk about. Uh things happening, such and such and such. I think, hey, we could have a Halloween meeting if we look two weeks ahead. I assume that's not a problem, right? It's not oh. a national holiday. Right? Well, some people might be in costume. I, I am 100% supportive of anybody that wants to show up in costume. Um, I was about to say I might even take pictures, but... You probably have to send them to me first so I can screen them to make sure that they're appropriate for being shown. Good, 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 yeah, good yeah. call. Yeah. So, but if people send me pictures of them all dressed up, if I get like at least two people, then I will create a slide and put the two <laughs> things on there. I, I, I promise you that. If it's just one person, I'm not going to do it just for one person. But if two people do it, then I'll probably do it. I will not be dressing up. But it sounds like Bob might be excited about doing that. So I'll leave that to yeah, all of you out there. Absolutely. All right. I am filling space for people who have questions, comments. Not a lot of stuff out there. Pretty smooth meeting. Just some issues to go through. I think that's it. So I think the next meeting is uh, 9.30 Pacific time uh, on October 31st, which will be Halloween. Unless you have anything else, Bob. I do not. All right. Well, I think that's it. I think we've done triage for the day and... Raj is still interesting. You keep think you keep thinking after we had two hundred and sixty nine of these that we'd have like we'd to be the point where nothing interesting happens, but things still happen. All right, we'll be back in two weeks, uh, same time, same place, Halloween day. All of you guys, take it easy. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.